moms experience, moms and all moms to be. Welcome to another exciting episode of Mama's Nest, your educational show that brings to you everything you need to know about parenting, childcare and motherhood. This show is made specially for you. My name is Fome Ejumudo, your host for the show, and today we're bringing you another educational episode. Mama's Nest is proudly powered by Cousins Baby, makers of childcare skincare products to support moms on their motherhood journey. Mom, you can do this. Welcome back. Breastfeeding has such a powerful effect on a newborn's overall well-being, survival, and health. But at the same time, it's a source of pain for many mothers. For some others, they experience discomfort and worry. Today's episode promises to be exciting as we have on board experienced experts to share their expert advice as well as an experienced mom to also share her breastfeeding experience. Joining me on the show today is Tito Ipinloye. She's a clinical dietitian as well as someone who has deep knowledge on nutrition. She has successfully helped many moms on yeah. their breastfeeding journey. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. for joining us on the show. Thank you You're for welcome. having me. Thank you. And we have an experienced mom, Rachel Okwilegbe. She's a mom of an eight-month-old baby, so her experience is still very fresh. Yeah. And she's also an entrepreneur. Thank you so much for joining us on the Thank show. Thank you very much. I'm so welcome happy to, to be here. We're <laughs> glad to have you. Welcome to Mama's Nest. Thank you. So, ladies, there's a myth that small breasts, no food for baby, <laughs> big breasts, <laughs> plenty of food for baby. How, how true is it? No, I, I don't think, I don't think so. Because, um, you know, meat generally, 90% or 99% of it are not, uh, it's false. is false. So the reality is that whatever the size of the breast, Yes. Whether big or small, whether tiny or fresh or looking, it will produce good breast milk, breast milk yeah. and good enough for your baby to take. God is merciful. Exactly. <laughs> I think that um, um, from my experience, um, there are other factors that would contribute to how much of breast milk a mother, mother produces, produces. You know, from as little as their diet to as much as hormonal imbalance. So you have some mothers with very big breasts mm -hmm. that would not lactate, not even a single drop. Wow. And then you have people with like really tiny breasts and they would produce so much breast milk. So mm -hmm. um, it's, there are so many factors that, okay. you know, contribute to how much breast milk a mother produces. And no, not the size of the okay, breast. Okay, thank <laughs> God yeah. for us that <laughs> are not so gifted. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, when a woman is pregnant, everybody goes on and on and on about um, the pregnancy, the childbirth. But there's really so much that people don't tell you about after the baby comes, yeah. breastfeeding. Yeah. Yeah. Because after the baby comes, definitely the baby has to eat. Mm. So how does how how can a mother prepare her breasts towards mm. um, breastfeeding? Um, so I think that um, most importantly, uh, mothers should attend at an antenatal, antenatal. Right? because I know that the nurses and the dietitians, you know, do a good job in trying to sensitize, you know, the mothers. Because honestly, I feel like conversations are very imbalanced when it comes yes. to you know breastfeeding in fact i'm one person that when it's breastfeeding week i like to stay away from <laughs> the conversation because i feel like the conversations are not you know usually very balanced. balanced but yes i would advise everybody talk to your nurse attend antenatal those antenatal classes apart from the dancing and singing i love to see it in the <laughs> hospital you know they also add a lot of information and knowledge to you know what the mothers need what the mothers yeah need. yeah and Rachel, how did you prepare? Were there any special routines that yeah, you, you uh, did? Like she, she has rightfully said, uh, it is advisable for mothers to actually attend the classes. Because then I, I discovered that some mothers will like to escape mm. such classes. Especially experienced moms. <laughs> so I learned a lot from the one I attended. Okay. So when, I, when it was time for them to discuss that or teach us that, they made mention of um, a cleaning of the mm. the nipple and the um, the other part Are, uh, areola. areola yeah. Yes, so you have to clean. You don't have to 
be merciful with it as in you have to clean it oh, see, yes. properly like thoroughly. you don't thoroughly exactly so then um we didn't know or we're not aware the, okay. the effort you need to put in, into it or you, you don't even have an idea of yes. the fact that you need to clean it has to be thorough it has to be thorough mm -hmm until uh, a nurse practically did it. <laughs> Those nurses can be, they can they can be, be so. <laughs> they practically did it or practicalized it in front of us. Yes. And we were like, wow, is this the way you are supposed to have done this? Because in the morning, they said you should do it morning and night. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the morning, I just do it casually, come out of the bathroom, do it again. Oh, but when I saw it practicalized in front of us, then I... Notice that I haven't been doing, <laughs> haven't it, been doing it well. Doing it properly. Yeah. I haven't been doing it properly yeah. at all. Okay. So. And, you know, as I just mentioned, these things, people don't tell you. Nobody yeah. tells you mm, until exactly. you start to actually experience it. Yeah. My own experience was that I, I experienced a lot of pain mm. with my three kids. Mm. And everybody around me said, that's the way it is. Mm. That's the way it's supposed to be. Mm. At some point, I had sores yeah. on my nipples. Yeah. And the baby still has to, to yeah, feed. To the feed. baby still has to nurse. Mm. So at every point in time I needed to nurse, I was, I was almost feeling like, I wish I didn't have to do this. Mm. Because it's like you have a sore and somebody goes there and they, they keep biting at it. It's yeah. really, really painful. Mm. Why does it hurt? <laughs> Why does it hurt so much? Mm. So I think that it starts from the fact that um, the baby's in latching properly. Um, again, like you said, nobody is you know, having active conversations mm -hmm. about these things. And our grandparents are supposed to know better for some reasons, you know, <laughs> you know, um, healthcare in, in Africa. So um, it, it hurts so much because, again, it's a sore, yes, the baby isn't yes. latching properly, and there's so many, you know, like I, I'm not breastfed, so <laughs> I, I, would, I can't say. <laughs> but, you know, from my clinical experience, I think that basically it's when the baby is in putting. And so, yeah, properly. and so um, many times you want to talk to your nurse. Having your grandparents around is beautiful, your mom, but you want to actually talk to an expert that will teach you, like she said, and show you how these things have to be done properly. Okay, because I, I did speak to my mom. Mm. My mom said, the baby's mouth has to, has to bruise mm. your nipple. Mm. And the same heat from your baby's mouth will heal the nipple. I'm like, why didn't you people <laughs> tell me this? Why did nobody tell me this? Mm. But they didn't know any better yeah. at that point. Yeah, it was after I'd finished nursing that they told me that it was due to a bad latch. Latching. The baby didn't latch properly. Yeah. And yeah. so maybe the hard part of the yeah. baby's palate mm -hmm. was what bruised my yeah. nipple. But yeah. did you also experience any discomfort? I did. I, I experienced some form of discomfort, but not to the extent of uh, having a sore so. on it. You know, um, from the time where the, the breast is wanting to develop mm. or secrete its milk, mm -hmm. definitely you, you'll feel pains. Yeah. You'll feel pains yeah. there, just like the way pain. you yes. you want to develop a breast. A breast yeah. uh -huh. You'll feel such pain. Then the at the time when um, your baby is on it, mm. because he or she needs to suck, suck it mm. and really be on the breast. Like the, 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 often, the, right? Very often. Yeah. I remember my doctor telling me that uh, Breast on demand, yeah, something so like that. So you have to keep, you have to keep giving to keep them flow exactly. Flowing. So the moment they are sucking, you feel the pain mm. coming out immediately. So you just have to bear it mm. and be on the breast yeah, or the something breast. like that. Okay, so your baby is nursing and, you know, baby sleeps a lot. Mm. A newborn baby sleeps a lot. Mm. But how are you sure that your baby is actually getting enough nutrition, mm. getting enough milk? Is there any way to like gauge? Yeah. So, um, for if you come to, I mean, after you know, um, post natal, right? Mm -hmm. um, there are certain clinical um, indications that we use, and okay. so we do bed um, bed weight and what is the developmental, oh, okay. you know? So, if the child is happy, not crying so often, gaining weight, you know, and so, there's something okay. our African mothers want to do. They want to add extra java inside give your baby water <laughs> give your baby this you know and we say breast milk is enough right but yes. to ensure that the baby is actually taking enough you want to be sure that the baby is growing in size you know mm. and 
um, also ensuring that you know the baby is achieving all their milestones. Okay. You know, six months, three months. You know, all the necessary okay, milestones. milestones yeah. Yes. So can we say that a baby always crying is actually a sign that the baby is probably not getting enough? Hmm. A baby always <laughs> cries. <laughs> it, could, it, could be, it could be anything, right? But yeah. I mean, feed on demand. And if the baby is still crying, then you might want to talk to your your doctor because yeah. there are other factors that okay. can you know come to play. But um, for a baby that is hungry, as much as you feed, he will or yes. she will keep quiet yeah. until the next yes, hunger. Yes. You know, another mm. thing, check the diapers very often, yes. right? There are some babies that um, they find out later that they had a problem because and they weren't urinating frequently. You want to ensure oh, that see. the diaper is soaked, soaked as often as possible. Okay. So you are sure that the baby is mm -hmm, feeding mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And so I've also, also always wondered... You know, your baby's um, nursing, but mm -hmm. you can't really see what's, how, much, um, how much breast milk you're producing. Mm -hmm. Because obviously it's not like when you're pumping and mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. actually see. Mm -hmm. So how do you know that you are producing enough? How do you know that you are, you are lactating well? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should start from high. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know oh at some God. point your, your breasts will right. get engorged. Mm. Yeah. And then you know, okay, I probably need to feed my baby. Mm. Yeah. Or there are some times that uh, maybe you go out and you leave your baby at home and then you can notice that yeah. you are beginning to, yeah. the, the, milk the, the, the milk is coming out. And then you, you can, sometimes you even say, ah, oh, my baby's crying mm. or my baby's yeah. looking for me. Mm. But uh, were there any points in time where you were maybe like skeptical? Am I producing enough milk? Um, is my baby okay? Were there any times like that? Uh, not, not, exactly. not exactly. Not exactly because my my baby, uh, she's a girl. Okay. <laughs> Whenever she sucks, she has this uh, speed. <laughs> she has a speed when she grabs my okay. nipple. Like she's on it. And by the time she's done, you will know that she's done. Oh, she gives a sign. She gives a sign. <laughs> like a sign. she just come out of the breast and she looks at me and look away. <laughs> and I, look, I just discover that she's okay, okay with the breast milk. There's never a time where we are on the breast and um, I'm feeling like she's not satisfied okay. because she yeah, will give good. me the cue that yeah, she's I'm, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm okay. <laughs> okay, you can take your breast now. I'm done. It's sort of like that. So. It's, I, I don't really have a time where okay. I know I, or I feel that my baby hasn't it gotten hasn't enough, gotten enough uh, milk. And I feel like if mothers speech. listen to their bodies too, they can mm. almost tell. Right? Okay. I mean, I try yeah. not to say these things from a, an experience point mm -hmm. because I've never experienced it, but I feel like a mother should be able to tell. Yes, you absolutely. Know, by looking at the baby, mm. by you know how she feels. Absolutely. Should I should I add something to that? If you mm. pay enough attention, I think you yes. can be able to tell. You know when the breast is engrudged. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have a feeling that the milk mm. is so much in it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's heavy yeah. and it's painful. Yes. By the time she sits on it, or he or she sits on the breast, mm. you know, it's, it comes it down. Comes down. down. Yeah. And when it comes down, you feel that ah, she it has taken down. enough yes. of it. Yes. And you, you, even, you are even relieved yeah. of such pain or at right. that moment. Yeah. So right. that is how right. it, yeah. it works. Yeah. So I know that newborns have to nurse quite often. Yeah. Mm. They sleep a lot, but mm. at the same time, they nurse very yeah. often. How often would you say a newborn has to nurse? On demand. Yeah. On demand. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime on demand. tea. Yeah, on yeah. demand. I know some people try to... You know, say, oh, yes. let's, let's have a timetable, especially um, busy mom, but on demand. And so if you can't breastfeed, and that's where expressing, you know, comes, comes in. in. Yes, but you're supposed to feed your newborn on demand. Um, I know that some moms, they try to be disciplined and do like maybe every three hours or mm. every two hours or mm. whatever works for every, yeah, yeah, every, yeah. every mom in particular. Mm. Yeah. But I know that just to, you know, add a, bit, a little bit of discipline to the, to the baby's feeding habits, mm. they do like every one hour, every two hours. I never did that though. I did no. even on demand on because demand. I was available yeah. for the baby's feeding. I mean, on whatever demand. Yeah, makes, on demand is your board. Because yeah. it's, it's also very difficult to tell people what they're supposed to do. Um, everybody knows what is called. Works for yeah, them. I think and that's why we should have more of these conversations to support, you know, this can just find what works for you at the end of the day. Okay, so um, breastfeeding, right, mm. was one of the causes for back pain for me. Mm. And for a very long time, yeah. 
I suffered, you know, back pain due mm. to breastfeeding. Mm. What would you say is one of the best positions? Like, Rachel, what worked for you? Well, <laughs> you know, some of us, <laughs> we actually got the, the training, mm. the teachings. <laughs> but at the end of the day, mm. we never use some of them. Mm. You know, it's, 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 it's normal, you know, yeah. that we are taught uh, how to sit upright mm. or you put a pillow behind pillow you, behind you. Yeah. you know, and um, you make sure that the baby is not resting on your lap, is mm. sitting okay. up, yeah. you know, propped to, up. Yeah. Prop, prop top prop to up support the, the mm. head yeah. and yeah. the shoulders. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So most of the time, the baby is on the breast. It's not, you are not the one oh, going down, going down yeah. with yeah. it. You, the baby is on it. Yeah. You understand, but yeah. you have to be careful yeah. with the nose yeah. so that yes. uh, you ensure Especially that your baby is still newborn. breathing while you're yes. on the breast. But yeah. sometimes we forget. Sometimes we forget sometimes we because forget. I often catch myself yes. slouching mm. yeah. to give the baby, yeah. to nurse the baby. Mm. And it, it's just another, another whole story entirely. Because, because the, the demand that we've been talking about <laughs> since <laughs> is, is, is very, very compromising yes. sometimes. Yes. You also you have know? to think about at night when yeah. you are sleeping. When, when, you are sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. when the cry exactly. you get up, mm. you give to them and you are sleeping off. You don't know the position of your baby at mm. that time. Mm. So with God, I, I mean, one of the common fine. things we say at antenatal is the hand, you know, did they ever teach you that? The part of your hand that is very important for the breastfeeding, your palm, your palm your and your lower arm and then your, your elbow. Your elbow. elbow. So you hold. So this is supposed to be for the baby's butt oh, and yes. the baby's head. Yes, the and baby's then you head. bring the baby. I mean, oh. it's easier ah. said than done, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank you so much. Yes. 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 So. Thank you for staying with us. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them on our comment section. Or you can leave them as a message on any one of our social media platforms scrolling right there on the screen. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more exciting gist on breastfeeding. Welcome back. It's still Mama's Nest and I'm still here with Tito and Rachel. Tito has been giving us her expert advice while Rachel has been sharing her breastfeeding experience with us. Now, ladies, this whole six months exclusive breastfeeding thing, mm. it's not for the faint-hearted. At all. Mm. It's not <laughs> easy at all because you're yeah. always tempted. Mm. Is my baby thirsty? Should I give her water? And even when you attempt to, like nobody must hear of it. Mm. <laughs> it, it you keep it like a well-kept secret. Yeah, exactly. But let's be honest. There are moms that cannot keep up with this whole exclusive breastfeeding yeah. thing. They are moms working full time, mm. for instance, nine to five moms. There are some moms that don't lactate as much. Mm. There are some moms that their um, breast milk is not even enough yeah. to yeah. keep the baby. Yeah. So how do we go about all this? How do yeah. how does a mom, for instance, working nine to five, to five, how does she? keep up with yeah. this whole exclusive breastfeeding thing? Mm. So um, I personally, I mean, I mean, I'm a dietitian and anybody that hears me say it would almost crucify me, right? But I say it anyway, <laughs> right? To say that we do not have balanced conversations when it comes to exclusive breastfeeding. Mm, so, so August 1 to 7 is World Breastfeed Day, Breastfeeding Day and then dietitians mm -hmm. will carry their banner, dance all over the place, oh, breastfeed. But I feel like we constantly leave out details of how difficult exclusive breastfeeding is. So everybody oh, just talks about, about how beautiful it is. Your child's brain will be sharp. In fact, I told my mom one day that I feel like she's the reason why my brain is not sharp, you know. <laughs> because that's Did you this six months for you? <laughs> no, because my grandma, she allowed my grandma to give me water, okay. you know. So, you know, it's just a inside joke, yeah. right? Okay. But then people don't talk about how difficult it, it is. is. Okay. So one of the times when I, I used to work in one of the hospitals, um, one of my colleagues resumed and she had just had a baby, I think three weeks. And 
when she weeks. got home, yeah, when she got back home, her mother-in-law had given the baby formula. Oh, oh. Cry, oh my God, poison, poison. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. Why, does, why do they make it feel like mm. it's, we committed a crime mm. and make us feel so guilty? Mm. I mean, in their yeah. defense, you know, everybody also has to promote the right thing, right? But I just feel like we're not having enough balanced conversations. I also have a couple of friends that have had babies and once it's breastfeeding week, they feel like losers. Right, because oh, everybody, yeah, everybody talks about how a mother that exclusively breastfeeds is a champion, how mm. you're the best thing, <laughs> and you know, you know, people that can't meet up start feeling like it's feeling bad you know, about yeah, it. You know, I was, I was actually expecting you to say something other than being sharp. <laughs> you get because mm. that is the only thing that we learned about yeah. that they, they tell us about the sharp. reason why we should do Ex six months yeah. yes. exclusive. Yeah. No other things are really backed oh, backing no, no, them no, up. There are actually other things, like right? What? Breastfeeding um, is the best thing for your child, of honestly. Okay, okay. The best thing, yes. Honestly. Right? <laughs> no, then number two, you get all the okay. nutrients in the right amount and quantity. Okay. No formula is close to breast. So breast milk is God's own yes, formula, yes. right? Then it also creates the bond between the mother the and bond. child. Yes, it also I, prevents, I you know, diarrhea and some other infections. It the child's that, immunity. And then... I heard it serves as contraceptives, but I won't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the discussion we need to have. Are you so serious? That, that's that's I mean, a discussion so we there also need to have. There are some benefits of exclusive breastfeeding. I just think that we should start to have balanced conversations around it. It's okay. You know, I, I personally even think that, you know, we should also say if you can't exclusively breastfeed, it's okay. And you shouldn't you know? feel bad about yes, it either. Yes, it doesn't yes. make you a bad mom. Yeah. It doesn't. It really doesn't make you a, a, a yeah, bad mom. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, really. so saying that we should have a, a balanced um, information mm. or we should have balanced discussion discussion about, about it. it. Yes, it's very key because you can't force a mother who already have what she plans to do mm. in her mind. Yeah, you know, <laughs> know right? no matter the classes, no matter the talks, mm. no matter the visit to the doctor. Mm. She already knows what she's she going to do. do to her baby. Mm -hmm. She's the owner of the baby. Mm -hmm. Except, of course, if she has like health complications yes, that pre that's exactly. preventing her from, yeah. from breastfeeding her baby. I, I, I personally did. I personally did three months for my baby. Mm. Only three months. Only okay, three months. So <laughs> that was energy, energy, that's, that's, that's how, that's how, it how it far it. I you could go. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's how far I could go because my baby takes like she sucks a lot. Mm. You understand? So you couldn't I couldn't keep up because mm. I was coming down and she was adding up. <laughs> she was looking so fresh. Mm. I was looking so mm. tattered and all that. <laughs> you didn't drink bowls of basins of I didn't of drink of <laughs> But know, is it true? At a point, mm. no, no, for me. No, did, I just, did that help you? Exactly. Did that help with your flow and supply? The pap? The pap. Did you do pap yeah, wine? Yeah, it. No, 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 <laughs> pan wine. <laughs> Not pan wine. I, I, I did pap. Okay. I did pap, mm. but I didn't take it as regular as I should. Or, okay. Or really help me. I didn't know. I don't okay. know because I did not put my mind on that. Yeah. So what I did was that when I discovered that ah, she was taking this thing mm. so much, okay. I had to add something to you it. Had to add something. Yeah, so that I could be so what relieved. Did you add? I added, I added the pap. Light pap, right? A very, very light. light one. So did you add so, um, formula to the pap or? Yes, I added add formula, formula to okay. the pap. Okay. Mm. Initially, she started, she started uh, with the formula, the same formula we use from the hospital. Okay. 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 So I just wanted to use the same thing because at the hospital she used it, she, she took it very well. Okay. So I didn't want anything that will yeah. be new to our system to her anymore. System. So I used that same one together with the pap. So mm. I had time to sit on my own mm. without anybody crying mm. forward mm. for breast milk. Yeah, and I was trying to eat well so yeah. that I can also recover because recover. It, the recovery process is, yeah. is is even what we should also talk about mm. too. Of course, and of another course. thing, I think yeah. in, in defense of healthcare professionals, you also want to look at it from the hygiene point of view. Mm. You know, yes. if yes, so I, I mean, breast that. milk, you just pop it out. Yes. And, but if you are going to feed the child externally, you now you have to think about washing the bottles, I also washing think the spoon, that... washing the and so. You I also know. think that that's one of the reasons why, you know, the healthcare um, system pushes for us to give um, six yeah, months exclusive, exclusive because at that newborn stage, 
they are very, yeah. they can easily catch. Yeah, um, their immune system is not strong. Exactly. Their stomach is not strong. There's so many so things that So you can't can even wrong. use any, just any, any spoon yes, to, yeah. you can't use like a metal mm. spoon, for mm, instance. Mm. You know, so I think that that's one of the reasons yeah. why they strongly push for that six months exclusive. Mm. So that after six months, your baby's immunity is Would obviously... Have, yeah stronger yeah. and the baby can fight but again um, balanced yes. conversations yeah. <laughs> yes, balanced yes, conversations. Yes, yes. all for balance yes balance <laughs> conversations all for balance actually yeah, yeah all for balance mm. it's important we have balanced yes, conversations balanced. because if mothers understand why it's easier it's if easier they do why it's easier you're right. yeah you're right but we usually just go with what everybody else mm. is saying people don't bother to ask questions yeah. many moms even when wait, wait, even when you ask they won't tell you. They won't they tell, tell you. you. That's, because that's how they do it. Yeah. They don't tell you that's we how asked. Done. We asked. Mm. I asked. You know? You know, they just gave us the general answer. Don't worry, just do the six months. Don't mm. worry, just do the six months. Why am I doing the six months? That's why the world needs more dietitians like me. But, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. but let, let, let's really be honest. What is the difference? Mm. Or what are the pros and the cons of of for the formula, for instance, mm. as against, we know all the benefits mm. and obviously um, breast milk is better mm. by far, mm. but what are some of the pros and cons of, of giving formulas to your baby? Um, so the thing with formula is that because again, it is not the natural breast milk meant for the child, you know, there are a lot of nutritional components in it mm -hmm. that is not exactly, for example, the protein, you know, okay. the carbohydrates, you know, and so there's so many companies that have tried to make it come as oh, close, but it's milk. not it. If it is not breast milk, it is it not is breast not. milk. I mean, and that's why you would not even see anybody advertise infant formula. Ah, that's see. you never see an ad because Well, now you said yeah, it. Yeah, you never see an I, ad. I, I, I did not <laughs> really they advertise yes. regular milk. Yeah, you well, never milk. see it because oh. the goal is, you know, um, let's have more conversations around. Then there's malnutrition, you know, children that are not fed properly mm -hmm. also, you know, they're also at risk of malnutrition. And it's from these infant formulas. There are a lot of formulas. Many people don't even know how to oh, wow. read it. You don't know how to read nutritional comp. So how do you know which one is? In fact, if they allow ads, ah, I know, <laughs> you right. know, right? And so um, if it's not breast milk, it's not breast milk. And that's the truth. A lot of companies have tried to get it as close, especially the protein, because you also want to avoid things like protein overload. The oh, child is just okay, growing. Okay. Their body cannot process some of these nutrients that are being packed into you know, into the body. Them. Yeah, so that's wow. why we just say breast milk is breast milk. See, see, see why we need to have this conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, breast milk is breast milk. But I mean, after six, so I, after six months, yeah. the immunity is better. To, and, and the body, the, the now body can start to process yes. many of the nutrients better. better. Mm. Do you know? Wow. Do, do you know that uh, I hardly noticed that they don't do art for. And we know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do art yeah. for that infant formula. You won't find but it. But it's everywhere. It. But you won't find the ads. And it's there easy no to get. No, no, no. It's everywhere and it's easy to get. Yeah, so, so the, the... How come something but, that but is not advertised? They don't advertise so, it so that they don't push it more into, okay. you know... So it's not in your face. It's you know, not in your face. So that exactly. we can just promote um, breastfeeding. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, no, but are yeah. there any uh, other alternatives? Like, are there like milk bags? <laughs> are there like milk bags? So yes, there are things yeah. like wet nurses. Yes, um, people do Surrogates. Is there anything like surrogate nursing? Wet, they call them wet they call nurses. Them wet nurses. Yes, yes. But you see, we live in a country. <laughs> <I know. laughs> we live in a country where people are not very I open. Know, right? you know? and, and there was that outrage on social media. I'm, I'm sure we saw it when somebody was feeding her nephew. And nephew. Was, yeah. You know, how can but you? It, it doesn't, you know? as long as it's healthy, mm. she has been screened, and okay. she's healthy. So I someone else can do that? Yeah. Some people, there, the, um, there are some mothers that can't feed, and the grandmother, you know, they just help her. You know, the grandmother takes over the feeding, the okay. sister, sister-in-law. Is not it actually somebody... possible for someone who has not given birth to also lactate? No, or... someone that has given birth, someone that is currently breastfeeding. Okay. So they just, I mean, they're even in the hospitals, they do it, especially um, maybe CS. So um, in the ward, other mothers um, can offer to... Breastfeed. But breastfeed. again, we are in Africa where there's a lot of, a lot of people frown on, frown on it. And, yes, yeah. you're right. Yeah. So, um, a lot of people frown on it. Mm. I know that. Is it possible for yeah. a woman who hasn't have it, had a child, like 
mm. recently had a child mm. to start lactating mm. if the baby nurses yes, yes consistently. Yes, I've heard of I've heard of grandmothers. Because yes, grandmothers. Even like grandmothers. the mother. Yeah, I've heard of it. Now, how that works, mm. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, I've heard of um, the mother of the mother taking okay. over the breastfeeding. It's just that she the child just has to latch and continue to suck okay. and over a period okay. of time hormonal um hormones kick in hormones and, kick yeah, in, yeah. and yeah. they start to latch it in. yes, yes. but that's a lot of you know um work you know yes. and for someone that is willing to also also do it to do it right mm -hmm. to get the right person yeah, who's yeah, willing to, to do it, yeah. devote all that and time and, 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 and it's energy. a lot of it's a lot of patience on that child yeah because, because in between, because initially that that child will not be getting anything. Yeah, the child just has to be sucking, and the but child even, will remain on it. But even when you give birth, your child doesn't that. get any. For for many moms, they don't lactate mm. like like mm. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they still put the child to breast. But you keep you have to keep putting the child to yeah. suckle, mm, okay. and then with time, I don't know how long did it take you to lactate. Ah, oh, two days, mm. two to three okay. days. Okay, and your baby latched on quickly. Latching on is also yeah. something that mm. oh, she did. Though <laughs> it was surprisingly, it was so surprising for me because um, when she came out, I had my baby through CS, okay. so I didn't see her. I didn't see her for like a few hours okay. because I was you unconscious or so. So I, when I woke up, I saw her already on the formula. Mm. She was already taking oh. the formula. So I was like, ah, she was will she be able to, mm. take to take the breasts? It. Will she be able to remember the breast? Mm. Because I was told that the first thing that the baby puts in the mouth yeah, is what she will be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. addicted to or mm. focus on or something mm. like that. So I was just worried. The nurses were like, don't worry. It will come out. Yeah, Don't worry, yes, it will come yes. out. Yeah. So after some massaging and um, cleaning and all that, yeah. and the pap. <laughs> they loaded you with pap. I'm pub. telling you, they loaded you with a lot of pap. Yeah. So it started coming out. And I'm happy to tell you today that after that moment, mm. she didn't even go back to bottle. Oh, mm. thank God. She didn't Some go back word. to it. Even mm. when I was now trying to introduce bottle to mm. her, she didn't take she it. Didn't take it. Mm. Nice one. Mm. Nice then she one. was smart girl. Take it. <laughs> smart girl. Thank you so much, <laughs> ladies. It's been such an exciting and interesting conversation about breastfeeding. So many of the things that they don't get to tell you while you're pregnant, mm. we've discussed here on the show. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Tito and Rachel. Um, so if you have any questions, yes, please feel free to ask any questions at all. You can leave them on the comment section or you can drop them as a message on any one of our social media platforms scrolling right now on the screen. Also, you can follow and like our pages while you're at it. Also, don't forget to download the app Mama's Nest for more engaging content. This is not the end of the discussion, guys. We're still coming back with more and more engaging and exciting information on breastfeeding. Please don't go anywhere.